What's up, y'all? It's Dr. David Roney. I hope everybody's doing well. Today's day 30, man. One more day to go. This 31-day challenge to post financial content to YouTube daily. This has been an interesting month. I have grown quite a bit, and I am happy to have done this. I'm not sure I'm going to continue to post every day. Probably two times a week, one time a week. We'll figure out what the rhythm is supposed to be, but I am happy to have done this. I proved that I can do this, and over the course of the month, I've become more resolute in why I am doing this, right? I started this journey in 2020 when the pandemic hit, and I was watching people lose their job and post on social media, GoFundMe accounts. And these are people that from the outside looking in, I thought they were doing very well. I thought they were doing way better than me. And I wasn't doing that great. I was a brand new attending, wasn't really getting paid anything. And I was still struggling a little bit myself, but I knew that I was set up for success because I had obtained so much financial knowledge. And I was starting to do better as I was starting to get paid. And my brother challenged me. Right. He said, you know, you're not operating right now because of the pandemic. And I know you want to help people figure out a way to help them. And so I started Surgify. Right. And over three years, it's sort of grown. It's gotten a presence on social media, specifically on Twitter. But I feel like I can do more. I feel like I am becoming more resolute in why I am doing this. Someone asked me yesterday. Uh, who, it's a guy whose opinion I trust very much, um, and he asked me flat out. He said, you know, why are you doing this? Who are you doing this for? And I think back, um, when I was a kid, my grandmother, she used to always say, you know, are you going to take care of your mom one day? Are you going to make sure you guys are okay? And I used to sit there, and I would hug her, and I would say, yeah, you know, I'm a Playing the NBA one day, I'm going to take care of my mom, I'm going to buy you a house granny, I'm going to make sure we always have food on the table, I'm going to make sure we got a roof over our head, and I would give her a hug. And I told her that all the time. So, you know, I was playing basketball at the time, and I would, underneath my pillow, I'd write, please God, make me 6'5", 220 pounds the next, by the next morning. It never really happened. Right? I'm not 6'5", 220 pounds. I came up a few inches short. And I didn't make it to the NBA. But I was never really sure that was really my goal. My goal was always to take care of my family. And then I lost my grandmother. And then I lost my way. And then I lost my mom. And then I lost who I was. So then I had to reaffirm why I was here. And when I buried my mother, I told her that I would save as many people as possible. Now, as a surgeon, I can save people one-on-one, -on -one, here and there. But the more that I pass knowledge that I've obtained in my head, the more I give people the tools that they can go and save themselves. I'm a wholehearted believer in if you teach a person to fish, they can eat for a lifetime. So this is my way of teaching people to fish. Finance is super important to me. It's something that I wish my mom knew. I wish my 17-year-old David knew. I wish that I just had an idea of why we were so poor, right? That created so many bad memories that it's hard really to think about how much we went through because we just couldn't afford anything. We spent so many times just wanting to eat, right? Just over time, I really think that we need to sort of figure out who we are. And it took me a while to figure that out. Financially, I'm still growing just like everyone else, but I feel like I've been given the tools to be successful, right? God put me in a position and he made me a surgeon. Well, that will sort of take care of a single need where, yeah, obviously surgeons make high income. The question is, is how do you grow once you become 
into that next step? How do you continue to make sure that not only yourself is good, but those who are around you are good? And that's the point where I'm at. I've never been a person who wanted to have success solely for himself. I would be the person in class where if I could have got a 95 or I can make sure that everyone gets a 70, I'm going to take the route that everyone gets a 70, right? Because I want everyone to do well. I will give you the shirt off my back to make sure that you're okay. And that's just who I am. Financially, money can feel like it is a scary monster, but we don't want it to be a scary monster. We want to talk about it openly. We want to share, hey, how we're thinking about it, what deals are, and how to approach building your wealth. The more time you have, the more time you have to build wealth and financial knowledge. Now, I've set a goal of providing that information to over a million people by 2026. What I'm asking is for your help. Every time you share this YouTube page, you share a Substack post, you share a Twitter uh, post of something of mine, it helps me to get to that goal. I'm not asking for anything. I'm not asking you to buy anything. I'm not asking to sell anything. I just want to get to the point where I have enough exposure where the platform pays for itself. I can get more voices on the platform. And then once the platform has either ad revenue or donations, we can take 50% of that and give it to a charity. We can fund people so that they can go to college. They can sort of follow their dreams. But I am at the beginning and I need your help. So I'm asking you for your support. Tell your family, tell your friends, please help me out. I really want to get there. I really want to grow the platform. I want to get more voices on this platform so that they have an opportunity to share the things that are working for them. And so that you hear from everyday people, right? Not someone who happened to beat the odds every single time, but for regular people who pulled themselves up from nothing, who wasn't given anything, and somehow became a success financially. I hope everyone's doing well. I really appreciate everyone and thank you for your time today. Please continue to follow me on this channel. Follow me on Twitter at F-I-S-U-R-G-I. -I. Follow me on Substack. Sign up for the Substack at certify.substack.com. You can also go to certify.com. I hope everybody's doing well. Talk to you later. Peace.